It's a dispute that lies at the heart of tensions in the eastern Mediterranean. And with the recent discovery of abundant energy reserves in its rich waters, the decades-old issue of a divided Cyprus just got more complicated. With a peace process marred in deadlock, international negotiators are planning to meet next month in an attempt to succeed where others failed. The island has been divided between Greek and Turkish Cypriots since 1974. But now, Turkey and the new president of the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus want a two-state solution, something that has never been seriously discussed before. Andrew Hopkins reports. When Ersin Tatar became the president of the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus in October, he said he would push for a two-state solution on the island. Decades of UN-backed talks have shown little progress in pursuit of a federation. So he says it's now time for something new. We deserve our sovereignty. We are the voice of Turkish Cypriots. We deserve independence. We are fighters. We are fighting to exist within the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus. He's been backed all the way by the Turkish government. Adadaki Türk toplumunu yok sayan Rum ve Yunan zihniyetinin 50 yıldır müzakereleri başarısızlığa mahkum etmesi karşısında eski çözüm formüllerini tekrar konuşmanın bir anlamı kalmamıştır. Artık o iş bitmiştir. Cyprus has been divided since 1974 when Turkish forces intervened to protect Turkish Cypriots. The operation followed a coup conducted by Greek Cypriots and backed by Greece to try to unite the island with the Greek mainland. Since then, talks have been regularly held to try to create a federation of two states, but with a federal government. They last broke down in Switzerland in 2017, when many thought they were close to a solution. Last year, the UN Secretary General said both sides can make proposals. Obviously, in the context of these conversations and in the context of these discussions, each party uh, has the right to take the initiatives uh, that each party wants. Our objective at the present moment is to be able to bring the parties together. The British Foreign Secretary visited Cyprus this month with his own proposal. The UK, Greece and Turkey are guarantor powers on the island, so a new constitution would need their approval. Local media said his plans include two community states under a central government, but publicly, while visiting the Greek Cypriot side, he didn't express a preference. I think a failure to reach a settlement after so many efforts would benefit no one. Um, so again, I urge all sides to come to the talks with a willingness to demonstrate flexibility and compromise. The Greek and Greek Cypriot leaders have also been meeting. They want a federation and are united in opposing a two-state solution. But after decades of frustration and an economic embargo, the Turkish Cypriot leader says it's time for a new approach. Andrew Hopkins for Straight Talk. And to discuss the latest, joining me now from Lefkosha is Ersin Tatar, the president of the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus. Mr. President, thank you for joining us on Straight Talk. It's good to have you on the program. So what is the latest in Cyprus negotiations and when and where do you think the um, next round of talks will be held? Basically, since I was elected as the president of the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus, as I've stated very openly and clearly in my campaign and previously when I was the prime minister of the Republic, that we, uh, from hereafter, we are not going to talk federation, we will talk sovereign equality based on two neighbor states, equal states, on a friendly basis, with a view to cooperate on many matters uh, in the future uh, if we have a settlement. Basically, this is our position. Our position is a dignified position. We believe that we have the right to claim sovereignty because we do own sovereignty. Uh, we have several uh, attempts to basically clearly state our legal uh, righteousness in this uh, attempt, because we are a co-founding people of the Republic of Cyprus. This is the starting point, because uh, when the British uh, got the island from the Ottomans, 
1878, yes. they basically acquired the sovereignty of the island, and then the sovereignty from the British was transferred in 1960 after years of negotiations, including Turkey and the Turkish Cypriots. And this sovereignty was transferred equally to two co-founding peoples. Yes. One of those people were the Turkish. This is very, very important. And when we discuss this matter with well-known uh, legal experts, judges, and other authorities in the world, they really uh, give us our uh, right that we do have a right claim in that okay. we are a different people and we have a sovereignty. Yes. This is what we are claiming. Yes. We are claiming our sovereignty and this is based on our state, Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus. So it seems the demand for a two-state solution does not match with the UN Security Council resolutions on Cyprus talks. This time you'll be you'll be sitting at the negotiations table with the uh, two-state uh, proposal. What are the chances of an actual process progress at a UN meeting? Basically, the, the United Nations uh, resolutions were years ago, years ago before even. Cyprus Republic was unfairly admitted unilaterally into Europe. A lot of things have passed since then, a lot of negotiations, mm -hmm. and all the federal uh, structures uh, were exhausted on the negotiating table. Somehow, uh, despite the concessions on the, uh, of the Turkish Cyprus and the Republic of Turkey, we with good intentions, including the Annan plan and uh, later in 2017 in Trans Montana, mm -hmm. uh, the Greek Cyprus refused to come into a settlement agreement on a federal basis because their vision is basically single sovereignty so that they will exercise their authority to the north over time, especially after Turkey withdraws from the island because they are playing the European card. Turkish federal, uh, the Cyprus federal republic will be a full member of Europe, and since Turkey is in not not in Europe, Turkey will gradually withdraw from Cyprus, and it will be basically over time a unified republic, small island in the Mediterranean, and the Turkish Cypriots will be a minority in the long run. This is so the game played. Yes, and therefore we have, we, have, we have to be very careful as Turkish Cypriots. So, Mr. President, do you believe they will accept your two-state conditions prior to a UN meeting? Basically, this is what we have expressed to the Secretary General. This is our position. This is what we, we, we feel that we should be talking after all these years, because all the other opportunities have been exhausted. And they respect this, and they say that this is going to be an informal meeting where all the sides we will be able to express their position. And this is why we are being invited to this informal meeting, whether in New York or in Geneva. I don't know yet. Mm -hmm. uh, probably towards the end of April. So However, our position is this. And when we discussed it with the United Nations, they all agree that if there is going to be a settlement on the island, both sides should agree to that. It will be a mutually agreed and basically accepted settlement. Therefore, if the Turkish Cypriot and the Turkish side does not consent, does not agree, there will not be a settlement. Okay. And the status quo, as it is now, will continue. We'll Therefore, continue. both sides should be able to agree on a settlement plan. This so, is where our strength lies. Yeah, but Mr. President, you already have two states on the island. Um, yes. What is the way forward? How would realities uh, change on the ground? I mean, could this evolve into, let's say, a confederation in the end? In the end, uh, I'm not going to say anything uh, because I don't want to prejudge the settlement or the consequences of these uh, negotiations if they would take place. But our position is basically we have a Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus. This is a national issue. We are 100% together with Turkey. And now we are uh, on the same basis uh, negotiating all this. And therefore, our strength is that we have a state already. Mm -hmm. Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus, whether it's recognized or not, whether uh, it, 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 first of all, it is recognized by Turkey. This is very, very important because it is opening us to the whole world, including tourism, including higher education, including all the other sectors of the economy. And our aspiration is basically to be able to uh, freely, with our own dignity, to exist, yes. to live, and have a, have, a, have a secure future for our children and for next generation.
secure future. This is very important. Therefore, yes. the guarantee of the Turkish Republic is of utmost importance with uh, uh, the Eastern Mediterranean and the energy issues and other strategic uh, importance of the Eastern Mediterranean. Yes. Uh, Turkey is also uh, adhering a lot of significance to the island of Cyprus. Therefore, we are together with Turkey. And if we uh, insist, then we believe that we will be successful so because we have a net already. Tell us about the importance of the UK Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab's contacts with you and your Greek uh, counterpart. What kind of a role could the UK play uh, in this process since it exited the European Union? Basically, it was a good visit. We discussed many things uh, in depth. Uh, obviously, British as, uh, the, as a guarantor power, they know the Cyprus program very well. Uh, he expressed his sympathies. He said that they would like a fair settlement. Mm -hmm. And I expressed to him our feelings about a fair settlement, what it would mean for us, a fair settlement. And his statement was basically for a, an agreement to take place, both sides should be flexible and somehow meet in the middle. Obviously, as a mediator, as a guarantor power, that's what his position is. And uh, they express their respect for our position. However, that plan which is uh, circulated around has not been given to us in a written uh, format. Mm -hmm. And we would never have accepted that anyway. We, will, we would not have accepted that anyway because what we will have is basically our freedom to express our expectations on the table. Yes. Therefore, we are not to adhere or stick to a plan proposed by others. It talks about it, a sovereign just, commun uh, communal states like the previous virgin birth, I guess. I mean, um, we are very careful. We are very careful, Asharam. We would definitely insist on our sovereignty. A word like community doesn't satisfy us because we are a people. A people by international standards, United Nations regulations. If, is, if you are, if you have land, if you have people, if you are uh, functional, if you have democracy, if you have state, if you have law, if you have all the attributes of a state, then you are a state. You are a people. We are Turkish Republic of Turkey, Cyprus, constituted by Turkish Cypriot people. We are a democratically uh, run, and uh, basically, we deserve to have our own sovereignty and to have our own state. Therefore. Birthright community may be intended to uh, understate our position. So we have to be very careful when we discuss these matters on the uh, negotiating table or wherever we will be meeting. So with our, with would, you be, would you be ready to make some compromises if the Greek Cypriots made couple? These are very important and significant issues and therefore uh, not to uh, influence the negotiating table. These are things that should be uh, not discussed. Therefore, I'm not going to say anything about these matters. All I'm saying is basically uh, our struggle here in the north of Cyprus is to survive and to be able to uh, have our own, say, Turkish Republic of North Cyprus to express the sovereignty aspirations of our people. This is very important. We are uh, obviously ready to cooperate and to share the island and its resources on an equitable basis so that the agreement if there is going to be a settlement should be sustainable and for the uh, good of all Cypriots and the region yes. uh, also because when I say region you have interested parties guarantor powers Turkish Republic Greece Republic United Kingdom and other interested parties so therefore if we are going to have a settlement in Cyprus it should address all these issues because no one can disregard the interests of Turkey Turkey is first of all our motherland Turkey is a guarantor power, and Turkey is a growing power in this region with 1,900 kilometers yes. of coastline to the eastern Mediterranean. Therefore, what the Turkish Republic says is very important. And my strength is basically that the policy that I am now advocating is 100%, as you know, supported by the Turkish Republic. And to our uh, very delighted men, as you know, uh, uh, Mr. President, uh, Tayyip Erdogan stated last week in uh, an audience to his uh, MPs in the uh, parliament that uh, federation is no longer a way out. Uh, we have to have two states All right. in Cyprus. This is uh, an announcement by the uh, top 
men in, in Turkey, our president. Therefore, yes. we are 100% uh, together with Turkey, and this is our strength. All right, Mr. President, unfortunately, we'll have to leave it here. Thank you very much for joining us on Straight Talk.